Robbing trains at Silver Dollar City is fun. But you know, not everything those robbers get is a good thing. Here's eight of the worst things I ever got as a train robber. You know, at Silver Dollar City, they have this train robbery. And the robbers come out and they do a whole bunch of silly stuff. And it's one bad joke after another. One funny moment after another. The whole idea is to have a lot of fun with this train robbery. And then in the middle of it, the robbers come down alongside the train. And they ask everybody for gold and silver and gold and silver. And they will joke around and play with the guests. And it's usually a lot of fun. Guests will get into it and they'll give the robbers coins. They'll give the robbers treats and snacks. They'll do all sorts of stuff and joke around with them. But can I tell you, there are people out there who don't have have the right idea about this. They get confused about just what it is they should be giving a train robber. And then you have those people that go too far and they give robbers things they shouldn't give. Here's eight of the worst things I've ever been given as a train robber. Don't do these. Number eight, the good old drink poured over your head. Some people seem to think that it's a lot of fun and hilariously funny to take their drinks that they've gotten at the park and just dump it right on the robber as he comes by. Why? I don't know. But can I tell you, the syrup from those drinks stick on you all day. There's no showers or bathrooms out there. When you have that happen, it's just sticky and gross the whole rest of the day. Even worse are the ones that think it's funny to pour hot coffee on you. Number seven, chewed gum. Yes, this happens. As you're going by the train, you've got your hand out near the train, and you're saying gold, silver, gold, silver. And then you get that clown who takes their chewed gum out of their mouth and sticks it on your hand. Who wants chewed gum on their hand? That's gross. Should I stick it on your forehead? Number six. This one usually comes from kids. Every now and then you get somebody, as the robber comes by, and they've got some money to give the robber, instead of just giving it to them and putting it in their hand, they throw it at them. It's been more than a couple times that me or my friends have had cuts on our head because of people throwing their coins at us. I can remember I had one good gash up here on my forehead. I had another friend that got a big cut on his cheek because of people throwing pennies and nickels. It's not cool to injure the robbers. Number five. A twisted arm. I had one guy one time that he just had to show how macho and strong he was. And as I'm coming by with my hand out, he suddenly reaches out, grabs my arm, and starts twisting it. And won't let go. And I'm like, sir, do you mind? I have a job to do. Twist. Sir, I'm happy you think you're strong, but you need to let go. Twist. It was so bad, I almost started to reach for my gun to whack him in the arm because he wouldn't stop. Really? This is funny. Number four. The ever mature, <laughs> oh good, you spit on me. I'm so proud of you. Here, let me give you your loogie back. Why do people think this is funny? It's gross. Number three, sometimes they, the little kids think that the robbery is real so they get a little confused and the little kid thinking he's going to help take care of the big bad scary robber throws a punch. Most of the kids we see coming in, when we realize the kid's rearing up, we'll duck out of the way. But every now and then you still get one that just thinks it's a lot of fun. Every now and then you get teenagers that think it's pretty cool. The worst part is when a little kid takes a swing at you, you know, seven, eight years old, and the parents are sitting there going, <laughs> Look at Johnny, he swung at the robber! Great lesson to teach your kids that it's okay to hit other people because you don't like them. No! Number two. Even worse than the punch from the kid is the punch from the adult. Yes, those people who are old enough to know better think that they're going to be cool and take a swing at a robber. No, not a playful swing. I mean, we've had people throw full-on punches at us. Now, we're usually smart enough to step away. You know, we keep a distance for a reason. But yes, people will lean out of the train and throw punches at you. Why? Don't try to hurt the robbers. It's not cool. Honorable mention. Kids. Yes, we have people try to hand us their children. Even more so, they try to give us their babies. Why are you giving me your child? I don't want them. I know it's funny, but we've generally had people pick their kids up, pull them out over the train, and almost drop them in our hands. Do you value your child so little that you would give it to somebody you don't know in the middle of the woods in a position where you can't get it back? Because here's an unknown secret. Once a person leaves that train, they're not allowed back on. That includes babies. Don't give a robber to your kid. 
The number one worst thing I ever was given as a train robber. The air hoses off of an oxygen tank. Now this isn't quite what you think it is. As I was coming along this train one time, there's one lady sitting there, an older lady with her oxygen tank, and she's got the oxygen tank on a cart and the long hose is attaching so she can breathe her oxygen. As I come up by the train and I'm having a good time with the guests, joking around with them as we do, she suddenly takes the hoses from that oxygen tank. With everything in her, she swings those hoses on my head. Wham! Right here, as hard as she can. Can I tell you, it hurt. Those oxygen hoses felt like they were made of metal. I mean, it was hard enough, I probably could have filed assault charges on her. Why? It's a joke, lady. As it was, I actually had to take a show or two off because she hit me so hard, I had a bad headache. And we were debating whether I was going to have to go in and get checked at first aid for possible concussion. Thankfully, it wasn't that bad, and I shook it off and got some medicine. The moral of all this, if you ever go to Silver Dollar City or another place that has a train robbery, because there's a few others out there, be nice to the robbers. Yes, we want to laugh and joke with you. Yes, we want to play. Play along. Don't do something to them that you don't want done to you. And certainly don't do things that cause bodily harm and injury. Duh.